welcome back to my youtube channel this is your baby antoinette so if this is your first time here please do well to subscribe hit that red subscribe button and be a part of my youtube family i'm sorry you aren't seeing my face right now so you'll be wondering how am i going to subscribe because i'm not seeing her face if you want to see my face kindly check my other videos this is a quick tutorial i was in the middle of this cooking process honestly i already prepared most of the things then i just thought why not do a video and show your people so in this pot is my kanda and meat that i already steamed and then in here i have my fish so this is catfish i have three of them which i'm going to be using for this sauce so these are the dried catfish in here i have ogiri i have magi ami and onga i have onion chopped onion most people prefer to blend their onions when they are cooking you know sauce when they are cooking african dish but me i love to see my onion inside the sauce that is just me so i hardly even blend my onion most times i just chop it because i want to see what i am eating so this is my magi ogri onion and pepper and here you have the major item this has already been washed and cut into big chunks so obiata is um something common to the creole people of sierra leone it's a slimy sauce that is eaten with fufu or eba the fish is already cleaned now let's see what next okay let's go let's go let's go let's go so i already added water to the um meats and the kanda so now let's add the ogiri let's add the seasoning cubes to this delicious you know you know you know next let's add the pepper and the onion We are adding the palm oil, red oil. This is it. So this is very simple and easy to cook. Okay, I think that's enough. So we are leaving this to boil for at least 10 minutes so that the meat and the kanda will cook properly. Then when we come back, we are going to add the fish. Let's check this out, fam. Ooh la la. Can you beat that? Can you see that? This looks delish. So now let's add the fish to it and see. So this is the fish, remember? Let's add it. I'm going to put this down now and let's figure out what is going to happen to the leaves to the greens to the plaster okay in a different pot let's add the cream cream so 
so the pot is really small as you guys can see but this is a men's place this is my husband's um office quarter and all of them here are men so they don't have kitchen utensils kitchen utensils are really limited so we just make do with what we have so after adding the the um cream cream, we have to sprinkle some water so that it steams properly okay so now let's cover it and let it steam So currently there is no light. This is Bo City. We are putting it down and then bring back our normal pot. Let's add a pinch of salt, okay? Very little, very, very little. And mix. Mix, mix, mix. In here I have the, um, this is powdered cassava, as you guys can see. So it is really blended so that when you add hot water and make it is eba actually but it will be smoother just like fufu it will be smoother than eba it will just look like a real fufu so when you don't have the energy to make fufu just do this if you have it So don't be scared, add enough water for it to come out nicely. If we try to manage water, it will have bumps all over when you are done. Lumps, not bumps, lumps. <laughs> add more water. So lately I've been loving this thing because when you're done it looks like fufu it is smooth and you know much more better than the normal guy eba that we used to do Bobby does not like fufu so most times this is our go-to so we just prepare the, the the sauce properly and then we we prepare eba
so here we go guys your obiata is ready so this is it this one is for hobby this is the obiata so this one is for hobby and that one is mine let me just feed your eyes feed your eyes that is mine this is hobbies that is mine okay thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so now and join this wonderful family until my next video let's come and dig in okay wash your hands and join me bye